What up squad? We are in Chamonix, France. Skiing was actually invented in this town of Chamonix and also this place was the host to the first ever Winter Olympic Games. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. You'll be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At last I'm the has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. What up, what up, it's your girl Chuck Chris and I'm back with Uno Pass. This is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. Second on my bucket list. Number one is right here in South Africa. Boy, do I have a very special vlog today. Stick around if you like incredible places and your next dream vacation is going to be this place. I promise you, just stick with me, watch this entire video. Okay, Chamonix, France, located in southeastern France. It's on the border of Switzerland, Italy, and France. You can actually ski into Italy from France, which is crazy. So the number one reason that people come here is to ski. And the skiing is insane. Bonjour. The only difference here is that the reds are blacks and the blacks are double diamonds in the U.S. I've skied all over the U.S., Utah, Colorado, East Coast, which sucks. This has got the best uh, open range skiing oh, I've sucks. ever seen. Because it's not as nice as this, Roms. It doesn't we suck. The French Alps are home to these Rocky Mountains, which are actually much rockier than the Rocky Mountains. All right, I'm really excited to show you guys this town, but first, we ski. As a vagabond ski photographer, I found myself last season headed for the French Alps in January. Banana break. Banana break. Ooh. Go away, sweet bird. Go away. There are six resorts here. They have everything from beginners to extreme skier. When I say extreme, I mean like fucking vertical. That was a shitty way to start the year. activity that you can do on the top of this mountain. You can jump off the side of a cliff with a parachute and stay in the air for an hour. What? The reason you can do so is because of the wind tunnels throughout the uh, canyons of the mountains. It's science. I don't want to get into it. Chamonix is home to the highest Alps in France. I'm gonna try to show you. I'm gonna try to show you how high they are. They're fucking high. And if you've been to Colorado, these are much rockier than the Colorado mountains. The Colorado Rockies are just a lie at this point. You like this better than Colorado? Mm, I just like it because one, people speak French. Two, it's much warmer here. Like in Colorado, I'm always freezing. Um, and it's so pretty. Colorado's pretty. Colorado's very pretty. But I feel like there's more people. Here? No, there. Yeah, it's much more crowded. Yeah. But I don't like that. Mm. The bread is better here.
This town is home to 10,000 people. That's it. Thanks for the coffee. Good morning. Hi, baby. How are you? Really not. All right, are you ready to explore the town today? Mm-hmm. It looks lovely. Oh, it's Mm. And a banana? Mm-hmm. Did you get anything for me? You already ate. I had two pieces of bread that does not count. What do you want? Pancakes and huevos rancheros. I'm not your slave, James. I cannot tell you how big this fucking mountain is. You're wrong. You look like a nun. What the fuck? Why are you gonna be so fucking mean all the time? I'm kidding. You look really. Yo. What's up? Uh, I'm tired. Okay, I guess we'll head out. Did you skiing today? You're on the vlog. This place is literally a winter wonderland. Um, this is Brevon, right next to me, and the uh, next resort over is La Houche. The other ones are for kids, these are for adults. There's a lot of uh, blacks and double diamonds. So hotels are expensive here. They can be anywhere from $100 to $500. 500 being the five stars and $100 hotels being two star rated. Uh, we stayed in an Airbnb. Airbnbs are relatively cheap. You can get it from 80 to hundred dollars, which is great for a town like this. It's the Aspen of Europe. Well, there's actually another place that's called specifically the Aspen of uh, France and that's Megev. Two, one. Yo, cool girl. Nice stunner shades. Can I help you? You want to tell them about Megev? Megev is like the Aspen of France. It's like the most expensive ski town. So we're walking in here and like just everybody wears furs and just have like their lips done and is that like either Russian or... This is Megev. I wanted to show you guys this is 45 minutes away from Chamonix. It's a beautiful drive up these windy roads on top of a, a huge glacier. This place is massive. The mountains are like three miles wide. You can just tell. Everyone's loaded here. We're the poorest people here. I don't know if we can afford parking. Can we afford parking? Probably not. Double the price of the other place. Are you serious? Merci! Can you say Cute. postcard? <laughs> I mean, we just freaking nailed that. Look at this river. It's 10 degrees colder right here because of the condensation off the waves. Why one more? We nailed it. Okay, then just take one of me. Oh, Lord. It's pretty cute. All right, so downtown Chamonix. Why is this so special? There's restaurants that line the entire town. Very cute places to eat. They have live music. There's heaters outside. I mean, how cute is this place? Shops after shops after shop after restaurant. You can eat there. You can eat there. Look, you can even eat over there. But they have foie gras. I don't eat foie gras, but the thing to eat are raclette. Raclette is like the shit where you, you scrape the warm cheese onto like ham and some other stuff, potatoes. This is a traditional ski town. Skiing is incredible, food's incredible. It is expensive to eat. The coffee here is very expensive. Five euros for one Americano. Did you just take a boomerang? It's cute. But look, this is why uh, you're paying this price. It's like everything is like so beautiful. You know, I feel like we're playing the game. You know the game that you play when you're little with like porcelain? You just play it like you're gonna drink tea and eat. It's like this. It's like so precious. What else? Hot chocolate and hot wine? Must do. Hot chocolate and hot wine. They make it the best here. Fun fact. Keep going. All right, so we're back in the heart of Chamonix. Uh, two things I wanted to talk about. One being, sometimes it's hard to weigh the options between going on a good summer vacation 
or a winter vacation skiing. So my one reservation about coming to a place like this is it is expensive, but it is an experience you will never forget. My second point, the reason for these travel videos I'm gonna be doing this year is because I wanna help inspire you guys. Uh, I'm inspired when I come to new places like this and it helps get the juices flowing. So uh, when you see these videos, I hope it inspires you to travel and I hope you like the videos. Make sure you subscribe. Notification squad. If you don't know what the notification squad is, here's what you do. You tap the bell, get notified every time I post. And when you do, you write me a message in the first 10 minutes, I write everybody back in the first 10 minutes. And a lot of times I give people in the notification squad presents. I might send you a pizza. I might send you these ski pants. I might send you money. I don't know. I really don't know. Hope you guys like this video. Definitely a bucket list vacation. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I'll see you next time. Boom. Yeah, you need to carry anything else? <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is the reds here are black. Fuck. That was right, right? Yeah. The only difference is that the blues here are reds shit. What is it? <laughs>